My name is Cosmo Wassenaar. I'm the principal of the Enkhuizen Safer School since 2013. I'm also a teacher, but mostly principal. I must say the school, I love coming here and I love the atmosphere here because there's so many people from different parts of the world here. They are really uh, always gasping for air when they uh, come back uh, home after visiting the school. My first time at the uh, Enkhuizen Nautical Institute, Enkhuizen Seferschool, was in 1994. I did a study in Amsterdam, which was absolutely boring and going nowhere. And I wanted to do something with my hands. And then I heard of the Seferschool. And I realized that if I ended in October, it would be possible to have a diploma in March and go sailing with a certificate as mate, well, as deckhand first. I started sailing when I was 15 um, as a sort of a guest or deckhand on the ships on the uh, IJsselmeer, on the Dutch inner waters. And uh, this slowly grew into uh, uh, participating uh, with the uh, Dutch Brown Fleet. And I hadn't been to sea at all when I came to the Seefaartschool, the Nautical Institute in Enkhuizen. But uh, after I got my diploma of the second year, I stepped on board uh, a ship called the Atlantis. And uh, I grew up from deckhand to second mate to first mate to captain. My favorite ship, well, basically all the ships that have sailed and all the ships that I have not sailed. <laughs> uh, of course, you have this very special bond with the first ship. It's just like the first girlfriend. Uh, in my case, the first ship that I was uh, captain on for a longer time, and that is the uh, Barkentine Antigua. Um, one of the uh, loveliest maneuvers that I've ever made, we were sailing uh, north of the Bahamas with the Clipperstad Amsterdam. The wind was uh, increasing, 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 until uh, eventually it became a, a storm, nearing a tropical storm. And we had to make a jibe at midnight. 10, 12 people standing around me and everybody was a little bit scared. And then somebody came next to me and whispered in my ear, one of the deckhands is having a birthday right now. So we started singing this uh, birthday song. And after that, everybody was calm and relaxed and the maneuver uh, went perfectly. Uh, I don't do that much sailing anymore, but I'm sailing the uh, Beatrix, which is a catamaran owned by a company that sails with uh, handicapped people. Uh, my biggest inspiration, uh, Henk Wever. He was also my teacher in astro navigation, terrestrial navigation and meteorology when I was at the school. And uh, we always had great fun during his lessons because you could sense all the effort that he put into uh, uh, teaching us we were nobodies basically teaching us the art of sailing and he wouldn't spare anything and anybody uh, in order to achieve that sustainability is one of the uh, keys of how we run this school the way we organize and manage this building is done in a sustainable way we try to have this incorporated in every aspect of the school and our lives including the things that we eat uh, the coffee that we drink, and the books that we print. The uh, Enkhuizen Nautical Institute, Enkhuizen Seifert School, is uh, unique in the aspect that uh, we teach how to sail sailing vessels. So we're not a regular uh, Seifert School, a regular nautical institute, although we teach subjects which can also be applied on uh, merchant vessels, but the whole atmosphere is about sailing sailing and only sailing and in that we are unique in the whole world there is no other school like this one to offer pleasure in going to sea it's one of the key words it's so important to when you are going to sea that you feel secure you feel uh, assured that you have all the knowledge necessary to sail a ship from a to b uh, and that you have fun doing it uh, there is a world more sustainable than the one we are living in now. And sailing is one of the most sustainable means of transport that we have. Keep on sailing and follow your dream in this aspect. 